Look at all these fucking looters, man. It's unreal. I guess that's why my... Uh, gods have their hands full, right? Just running around trying to get the looters. Right, let's actually buy some food. Some olives. Some fish. Some butter. Let's see if we can grab an arm. Never mind, I don't have influence. Maybe we can help out the siege. Let's chase some of these guys off. So fucking funny when they like the first time you see it, they see you, they're they're like happy. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Then you tell them you're gonna kill them, and they just crown. Fuck are they gonna camp now? Okay, right there. Something bugged out for a second there, some texture. Now was a pincer attack. I do wish the cav attacks were more devastating, that's for sure. Doesn't seem like they do anything. Look at that, they can ex experience for just the loot. Oh, that makes it so much easier to level up your stuff. Now look at that, 10 level ups. Come back here now, don't run away. This one is not happy to see me. So the infantry with Dells. Fuck. 
No, um... This battle could be winnable. If the AI doesn't do stupid stuff. That is, if our AI doesn't do stupid stuff and their, their ones does. So let's see what happens. You camp the hill for fuck's sake. We're gonna be good. So hopefully, if they stay here, don't move, we're gonna be good. Something tells me they are gonna move, though. If you just stay and hold here, we should be good. The fact that they're angling it like that, the infantry line doesn't seem... might be bad. That's not gonna be good. Yeah, yeah, that angle is not quite good. Then again, the enemy is doing the stupid thing too. Sure, now I'm not gonna get lance because we're definitely gonna lose then. Who the fuck is that? Oh, that's the that's the companion we skitted out for the infantry, right? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck the AI is doing. They're just like making it easier for our guys to hit him now. I'm not sure as that is. Pass through the infantry line like that. Ninety-four damage and doesn't knock them off the horse. Come on, gang. Yeah, that first stack way went pretty fucking well. We're gonna run out of uh, ammo pretty fucking fast at this, at this rate. I 
Oh shit. Now I got the camp. Let's put you in the Skane formation, just in case. Oh, they're definitely gonna lose if they like derp around, go forward and go back all the time. The end, the cave AI like it operates like it's like this is a, like a dog dog fighter game like it's you know planes in the sky so like they move forward or something like they want to get away or something like that. Okay, we ran out of arrows. Try and move up our archers, maybe they pick up some arrows, who knows? Well, I think so, they don't have that many archers. What did you block me with? You can't like block, you can only block downwards, I think. Or left and right, not downwards and upwards. Okay, now st some of them still have some arrows left. Mm, shit. I do like how one of my guys is actually stuck in there. Jesus Christ, look at how much cav they got. Oh god, uh, they're gonna... If they did the smart thing and charge at us, they would wreck us. Definitely. Oh god, look at that, yep. Yeah, look at that. So sure about this anymore. Back to back. Square formation. Cavalry. Yeah, this they switch to my troops now. Yeah, they still have as many troops as we do. Oh god. 
Thanks for the follow. War Phoenix. The name. No, no, not much. We're just having a fucking long battle here. Doesn't look like we're gonna end it pretty soon. No, not yet. Would have been better if I actually controlled all the units, but you know, you can't have everything, right? Discussion with swords and shields, and maybe some rocks in between, and some sp and some throwing spears too. Yep. All right. Let's move up our archers to pick up some of those arrows. That could be a good idea. It looks like the enemy just figured out we actually, you know have the advantage, so they're gonna sh get into a shield wall right now. Okay, move the fuck back. We somehow dealt with their calf force, so that's nice. Don't rearrange your formation now. Okay, now we have to move up since we don't have any ammo yet at all. Or maybe I can force the AI to do something stupid, let's see. Maybe, just maybe. I can make him do something stupid. Okay, never mind, it's a full route, more or less. Watch me get knocked out by a spearman or something like that. Now, question is, is the uh, army going to besiege Sergoth right away after this? Because if it doesn't, this was, this was kind of a waste of time. Kind of. But no, this is revenge. Since this army killed uh, my party too. Or my companion's party, that is. I think it is. Who the fuck is she from? Oh, shit. He's on our side. Look at that happy face, man. No, 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 no. Pick them up first. Yes. 
your troops will get 35,000 experience. Probably would, have, would be better just to just sell off all this stuff. Well, we have a decent amount of money, so let's go for the experience. Yeah, I don't think this army is going to do anything. And... Uh, three days and two hours. He's not getting here anytime soon. Yeah, let's see how many more. Oh, 34. Nice. Okay, let's check out the war, actually. Okay, they apparently they still, ha still have an advantage. Somehow. Um, I don't have that many spearmen, so let's go with that. I do wonder if I join them, are they gonna they change cor Are they gonna change course? Not really. Let's go grab some more troops, then I'm gonna come back and fight those. Who knows, maybe they get there and then turn around. We'll see soon enough. If they fight oh never mind, we can follow this army. Why are you heading up there? No fucking no fucking sense. I guess I'm gonna have to do it myself, as per usual. What am I looking over there for? How the fuck are they getting these guys? I mean, I can't get them. <laughs> okay, scouting. Let's see. Increase maximum range of tracks. Uh, oh, 2% speed when you're following an enemy army. Oh, that's too good. You okay, know, let's wait for these guys and then besiege Saragot. Hopefully not get wrecked by some other enemy. Oh, they, they do have a shitload of armies around. And we have to like wait for that army to run away from there. Just like that. Oh my god, can I catch him? Mash, catch him? Yes, we can. Okay, not too many losses. I can take that. And I forgot to dump prisoners.
Now I have to turn around and save those guys' asses again. Question is, can I? Um. I mean, I have to try, right? Maybe I should wait for the other for the army I called in to show up. Then we can attack them and wipe them out. Oh god, this map isn't isn't ideal. Then again, it depends what on what these guys do. Can I choose the spot yet? I just want to see what they do. If they do something stupid, then... Uh... Are they actually going to take the bridge? Oh my god, they are going to do a... Are they going to do something smart? What the... What the... F we're the attacking force? Oh, god, no. Okay, this is a loss, definitely, then. Yeah, no questions about this. We're gonna lose this battle, definitely. So I can single-handedly hold the fucking bridge, I guess. Which I don't think I can, so... So fucking bad. What the fuck is that over there? I mean, they're making it across, so that's good. But now, look at this. Look at the fucking slaughter that ensues. Okay, this might be doable, but it would be a pyrrhic victory, that's for sure. Slaughter begins. Yeah, I don't think this is a winnable one. No, not at all. Yeah, definitely not. Especially if they slingers outflank us, that's definitely an L. Yeah, doing stupid shit as ever. Yeah, 
Okay, so let's do the other thing. Sit back. And wait for the other guys to show up. Then we might have a chance since I'm gonna be the leading leading the army. What the fuck happened there? These guys are pretty uh yeah they're pretty fucking far away still. Let's dump the prisoners real quick and pick up some more reinforcements. We're so now in game from battles by 50%. Recruit troops start with uh, bonus experience of 200. Take that. Can always pick them up later and sell them. Get those. Um, let's get more legionaries. Now. 400 troops. Let's deal with the enemy. Yeah, definitely. The row music just fits so perfectly. There was a mod which uh, just, you know, adds the Rom Total War music outright into the game. Where the fuck are you going? No, no. Come back here. Now I don't fucking remember what the hell that sound is for. Subscribe on YouTube, I think. Oh, this is even worse. Gosh, how the fuck am I gonna catch them now? Oh my guys, is he actually that slow? He is. Surrender or die. I'm gonna auto-calculate this battle. I think they, they have a plan to like add more. They have, want to add like the Scythian Sith tribes over there for the Asari and the Kuzites. They made these get Gauls, they made these Dryatic, which is like Dacians, right? No, I'm not uh, Portuguese, I'm Serbian. Probably gonna, they're probably add, gonna add. You think they're gonna add Germanic tribes? To the, as the Sturgeons. We'll actually check it out on the mod, uh, on the next mod page. They have a couple of, idea, of ideas. They want to add like a... I do know they want to add like a Greek faction. Or not one, but two Greek faction factions. One which is like uh, the next Byzantium. And the one or other one that's like pro-Greek. That doesn't want to like... Doesn't want to like mix in with the... Romans, something like that. But they do have uh, quite a few plans. But like everything with the Banalot, it just goes slowly. It's now in the latest patch. Whenever the game updates with a hotfix or something, it, it takes you half an hour to load a battle. There is quite a couple of mods that actually change the whole map. You have the... What was it? The Last Kingdom, I think it's called, mod. Which basically makes the game be in um, England. 
Only problem is I don't think they changed the factions at all. So you still have the basic factions in England. You can work on that a little bit. What else is there? There is the... I picked up, pick all of those up. There is another mod which makes it so... Uh, the map is Game of Thrones, basically. Uh, well, I mean... The modders usually get the updates for the mods in quick, real fucking quick, so it's not that big of an issue if the game gets updated. And a lot of the mods actually work even the game if the game is updated. You know, it's, it might, it might not, you know. You just have to try it out. It's like, I think uh, the improved garrison mod is an older, older version. I'm still using it and, and it works, you know. So it doesn't matter that much. You know, you can always test it out, and you can always downgrade the Mountain Blade version. I have a have a guy or a friend playing on version 1.5.2, I think, or something like that. You know, like really fucking old, you know. Because you know, you know, you want to start the playthrough and finish, finish, like conquer the whole map. You you basically have to stick to an older version of the game. There's no way to like go through with it with all the updates which is kind of shit but still you know it's really access isn't it or did or did it actually like come out as a full game yet i'm not even sure <laughs> okay can we win this Well, I, I would say to uh, you could try it out now. It's pretty decent now. There's some pretty good mods out there. Unfortunately, some of them only have Discord servers, so you can't fi find them on X mods or ModDB. And there is there is no workshop yet, so... Might want to, like, look up Jackie Fish or Resonant. I think they made make videos regularly on Battleload mods. So we're on the attack, so they're gonna camp. Hopefully they're gonna camp. I had a viewer today who was saying that there is a Warhammer a Warhammer mod. A Warhammer fantasy mod. Which uh, did have skeletons, skeletons and vampires into it. Probably some other factions too. I just uh, I just didn't see it because it's not on ModDB. I don't think so. I mean, I searched and it wasn't on ModDB. Oh yeah, the Rome Total War music is definitely some of the best music in Total War games. The medieval, medieval in Total War, medieval too. That is. Pretty close. Yeah, Total War 3 is about to come out, right? Or Warhammer 3 Total War. No cab go up there. There is a, to a Warhammer mod for Warband. I guess you can play that, right? Still find, uh, I still find the name. Uh, still kind of want to play Warband from time to time. Oh well, yeah, next year. But is it? Isn't it coming like early next year? Well, March, April, 
not that early. I kind of got burned out on Warhammer, to be honest. On Dot War, actually. Oh shit, they have more troops, I forgot. Run back. Run back like a bunch of bitches. Because like in all the Total War games, the, only, the, difficulties, the difficulty is only in the beginning. It's pretty fucking easy later on. Load of casualties. Oh, I see what the problem is. Our reinforcements are way in the back. And we have a shitload of washers, which are more or less useless when we're fighting these guys. Oh, yeah, Shogun, too. Yeah, I. Um, the only problem with Shogun 2 is uh, the lack of troop variety, I'd say. And basically, once you figure out that the only good troops... You know, there is no... T well, you know, the square formation isn't really Testudo, but there is a mod that actually adds for Roman Testudo into the game as a formation. I might need to reinstall that. Watch you guys shoot the enemy. Well, in Shogun 2, even on, in the like the vanilla game, not the. All the samurai, you, when you get gunfire, just or firearms, it's just piss fucking easy at that point. Oh, there are already these uh, mods that actually adds high elves, I think. I think it's high elves. I think I'm, let's go check it out real quick. And I think there was an effort being made to move the assets from Mo Rise of Mordor or one of the Lord of the Rings mod from Attila to this, something like that. definitely watching a po couple of videos of like people modding Battlelord and they have like 20 mods installed and they all work and whatnot I have no fucking idea I can barely make three mods work together let alone more of them I have like I got no clue but thankfully I don't we normal people don't use the like cinematic camera or own total or total war camera thing, you know. So we don't need to mess with that that much. We just need to install the basic mod and the improved garrison mod. That one's pretty good. So and it's a must, I'd say. So you can actually get the 20k 20k experience. Now let's take the loot this time. But the improved garrison mod is just too good. You can make a template of what you wanna want in a city or a castle, and just you know set it, set the 
recruiters to go out and recruit for you. You don't have to mess with it. Oh, you definitely want to play it. If you want to play this mod, just wait a little bit till they fi fix the infinite updates. Because the last version was made like uh, 3rd of the uh, September or something like that. Like beginning of September, so I would wait a little bit for it. This is pretty good. And you can like manage everything from this. Well, except to, you know, manage castle and build stuff. The, we took a beating. Oh, come on. You attack me now, too. Oh, that, that would... Oh, that changing the cities and the castles would definitely take time. But there is a... There is a mod pack that Tailwords actually promoted. With a shitload of like new maps for the villages and the cities and the castles, you might want to download that. It, like has like I think 16 gigabytes or 13 gigabytes or something like that, and you just place it in the new mo. I think it's in the module folder, or maybe it's map folder. I'm not quite sure. But it's an easy. It should work with all the mods that don't have any new maps or some stuff like that. You know. What troops do they have in here? If we get that guy out, I could actually besiege it. A piece of shit. These guys are gonna help. No, they're not. No problem, mate. You fucking jackass. <laughs> oh yeah, the, the improved garrison. Which what else am I using? You can uh, you can jump on my Discord. I think it should be in the description. I think I posted all the mod links in there. All oh, right, the minimap mod. That's that's a must in my opinion. Yeah, go back, besiege that. Yes. You can jump in and help them too. More bonus damage, no battle simulations. Troops in your formation gain 1% damage against any troop. I don't think that's fucking worth it. 10% more damage in simulations against bandits, bandit parties. But it's definitely this one. Who's the POS? Uh, what they mean by POS? Or when was that actually? You really mean the guys that make uh, mod videos? Would you f fuck off? Yeah, did they actually besiege it? Oh, we can actually do that. Why doesn't the fucking AI do that? For once. Fucking selfish pricks. Oh yeah, that's the like I was referring to them. Like, why would they join? Help us. Now the problem with this, this is, 
These two catapults, I think they're gonna destroy the battering ram. And then our guys are gonna get slaughtered on the... On the walls. Fuck. Oh well. At least we outnumber them. We are gonna lose half our armies, but you know. What can you do? That's another thing. I do want to make... Uh, see them like... Somehow make it so you can actually besiege the whole settlement down. Because you can actually destroy the walls and make breaches. Two of them. That's pretty fucking good if you can manage it. Yeah, the siege tower is not going to survive. Well, right, there is a mod that actually adds in the Roman general speeches into the game. Not sure how it works exactly. And uh, some Rome voice lines from the game, uh, from Total War too, like when they retreat and when they attack. But that's pretty good. I just didn't want to mess with it because you know I can barely make this one work. Oh yeah, that siege tower is not gonna survive. No way. They did say they're gonna make, um, or they're, am I stuck in the, in here now? Looks like I am. Um, <laughs> the mothers are gonna make, uh, uh like, uh, what's the word they used? I want to check. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Malacca indeed. See, like, planned factions. They want to make a Hellenic Greeks. And, like, a Byzantine style, and they uh, want to make the Laconians that don't never want to join the Empire, so that's one of the things. Yeah, classic Greeks. The Parthian em Darshian, which is the Parthian Empire. What, however you fucking pronounce this. Which is gonna be teamed with Carthage. See? Scythians, which makes sense, and the Germanic tribes to the north, where the Sturgeons are. So it's gonna be pretty fucking good once they get all this in. Yeah, f f uh, only problem is phalanxes don't really work. I don't want to try. <laughs> Uh, guess we're gonna have to break free, right? Oh, for fuck's sakes. Um, I mean, it would work if you're against a uh, cav have a focused army but like against the infantry the spears don't fucking work at all which you know they shouldn't right rock paper scissors spears don't work against swords Die! yeah man forward I'm stuck in a what the fuck is it? a barricade between a cartwheel and a and a, what the hell what the hell is this beneath me Anything you can actually crouch in the game. The FPS is down to 33 for a moment there. 
it would be fucking funny. Like, guys, come destroy this barricade, please. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. We're missing all the action. Jesus Christ. For the glory of Rome, get me out of this fucking thing. Look at that, I'm getting tactics. <laughs> yeah, there should be meme. I mean, I guess you could clip... Well, if, if you were on Twitch, you could clip it. Yeah, probably will if I remember where it is. Well, I could figure out the timing on this. Oh, fuck's sakes. Should have got an axe. Makes it so much faster. Look at that. I'm not in the battle and half our army is already dead. Look at that. What a surprise. Oh, god damn it. How much? Is it almost done? Can I even look at the HP? While his men die, more like uh, yeah. Look at look at look at those guys. They're getting wrecked. I wouldn't be fucking surprised if he lost this battle. Oh my God, I think I'm. I was attacking the undestructible part. Never mind, we're stuck here. <laughs> Where the fuck did you get stuck in that game? Would be pretty fucking cool. Boom, bone. Maybe I'm this. I'm the Romans. Because this is a mod. And this is the experience you're gonna get. <laughs> Sorry for the right, late reply. We're still there. On Twitch. Oh. Can I? Can I? No, can't jump. And I wish people still played Rise Son of Rome multiplayer. It was pretty decent, you know. In my opinion, that is. Well, uh, the co-op bit, because, you know, PvP all goes to shit when you're... Pl ...playing with people across the fucking world. Save me, man, you, you useless pieces of crap. <laughs> A new world... Uh, well, I don't find that, like, MMORPG games that action RPG games or is it an I guess it is an action RPG game that interesting 